Technology, it's all around us, and your kids are putting it in play as much as they can. And if your child plays sports, it's up to parents to find ways to maximize the benefit. That's the focus of our latest installment of the game plan. Here's Jonah Javad. Technology, it's a game changer. It's everywhere helping us accomplish things faster and more efficiently than ever. Sports are no different. At the Eisler Golf Academy in South Lake, Cody Winnings works on her swing. I did not picture this at all. Not on a driving range, but indoors, in front of cameras and computer monitors, under the guidance of Jeff Eisler, the head of the academy. We're training players who are getting better sooner, earlier ages. Cody is a junior at Haltom High School. She's the top golfer in her district, and she's only taken formal lessons for two years. So how did she get so good so quick? Natural talent, great coaching, and technology. If we didn't have it, I, we might be a little farther, not as far down the road as we are now. Thanks to companies like TrackMan, golfers can diagnose their swing immediately by seeing what they're doing wrong and why. And it definitely pinpoints, oh yeah, we're definitely closing the face here, or your low points off, so it helps a lot. And it helps us coach better and more effectively, more efficiently. And Jeff believes there's a strong correlation between the rise of golf technology over the last 10, 15 years and the meteoric rise of great young golfers in the game, like Dallas native Jordan Speed. The sport's becoming more fun. It's a very difficult sport to begin with. It's very complex. So if we can help young players play better, faster, uh, we're attracting more kids to the game and they're staying in it because their enjoyment of the game depends somewhat on success. Thank you. At Brewer High School, Associate Athletic Director Scott Galloway has introduced this Catapult X4 GPS tracking device. We've got a, a GPS device, a laptop, a USB cord at a football practice. What's going on? We're able to live track data from our football players who are wearing these devices. We're measuring heart rate, we're measuring velocity, we're measuring uh, distance, how far they're running. And you're trying to mimic your practices to what they'll be like on game day. Right, so everything we do in practice, we want it to, to, to look like the picture we have in a game. Galloway and Brewer football head coach Todd Peterman came over from DeSoto where similar technology helped them win a state championship two years ago. I don't think we win a state championship without it. The device tracks player workload, which can help with injury prevention. I think our soft tissue injuries were down 70 to 75% the first year we, we went to this model. And in football, durability and availability are critical. Teams and players want to get better. New technology helps them do that, while the internet has leveled the playing field for those hoping to get noticed. There's so many opportunities to do so. Jim Schlossnagel has been the TCU head baseball coach since 2004, and he's witnessed the rise of digital recruiting. Recruiting websites are a great tool for kids and parents to use, but they can be expensive. If cost is a concern, parents or kids can simply upload highlights to YouTube or Twitter or Instagram for free and send those links to coaches. Every single email that has video attached to it sent to our office or any of our coaches gets looked at 100% of the time. From performance to promotion, technology, it's a game changer. Jonah Javad, Channel 8 Sports.